Okay, we've heard of a mysterious signal from Proxima Centauri. It was discovered in 2019, it is a steady beam of precisely 982.002 megahertz. That is 982,000,000 megahertz, or, or hertz, without the mega. <laughs> All right, so it's been named BLC1 for Best Listening Candidate Number 1. That's how rare these occurrences are. There's a few... Um, Links I've given down below to what I'm telling you here. You'll have to read it down below and find the link. Assuming that YouTube allows me to keep the links. They have edited links before, I've noticed. Um, if they do, just go ahead and research Google for the first um, couple of returns that come up for Proxman Centauri uh, 982 megahertz. All right, our indebtedness goes out to Shane Smith of Hillsdale College, who discovered the signal. Without Shane's intent to go through the data, SETI would almost certainly have missed it. And did I say this because um, it makes me wonder why SETI would have overlooked such a discovery so close to us in the universe long ago. Do they simply skip over Proxima Centauri in their efforts to begin a survey on the galaxy? Eh, that seems unlikely. Oddly, there is a connection that most of us are overlooking right now. 982 megahertz is a reserved bandwidth, according to international agreement. See the Intel PDF link below. Coincidentally... That is also the bandwidth used on radio towers across the world using Intel technology. Known as 982 megahertz remote radio head. You've seen them driving down the freeway. Those ugly things that sometimes they try to disguise as palm trees. <laughs> I'm sure it must be some other type of tree throughout the nation and the world, but... Often they don't even try to mask them. They just, they're out there in plain sight. Without intent, that particular uh, frequency choice would be a random chance of 982 million to one. Up to that amount. Uh, however high the uh, hertz frequency goes for radio usage, I don't know. I haven't looked it up. By the way, I took a frequency generator and inputted 982.002 hertz into it so that I could hear it because human hearing will not hear megahertz. But 982.002 hertz I could hear and I listened to it for several hours. I recommend this only for someone determined and of strong constitution. I won't explain what happens it may be different for everyone. Suffice it to say, it wasn't just a straight signal after a few hours of listening. So, all of this causes a question to arise. Is this all orchestrated? The hertz of the frequency, the, 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 the frequency of the 982, um, where the frequency originates from? The tuning of our broadcasting technology to that same frequency implemented by major MIC contractors? Uh-huh. Well, that suggested, it is notable to consider that the two planets we know of orbiting Proxima Centauri are not likely candidates for life. One is in the habitable zone, but it is so close to the star that it orbits every five days and likely has no atmosphere and all the water it ever had was blown into space, if it had any to begin with. Uh, the other one has a high gravity and orbits 
once every 52 years. This is not to say there are not planets we have not detected yet. I foresee this will not be the last word on this topic, and I wish you all three fingers and a thumb. <laughs> Take care. Bye.